Good morning, boys and girls. How is your day going? I hope you are having a great day. Today we're going to do a CGI math lesson, a problem of the day. Are you ready to focus? Here we go. Our learning objectives. Today we will learn to start at any number and count on to 120. We're going to add by counting on and we're going to explain which attributes make a shape what it is. Warm up coral counting. Today we're going to do coral counting by fours. So I want you to think about the list. We're going to go over the list of numbers and then you're also going to continue on by yourself. So let's count. Ready? Begin. 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32, 36, 40, 44, 48, 52, 56, 60. 64, 68, 72, 76, 80. What do you notice? Let's think. Oh, yes. The last row has zeros in the tens place, correct? Oh yes, the first row has four in the in the ones place. Sorry, the zeros are in the ones place. Yes, eights are also in the ones place. The twos are in the ones place, and the sixes are on the ones place. Oh, you also notice two, four, six, eight. They go up by twenty. 20 plus 20, 40, 20 plus 20, 60, 20 plus 80, 80. Awesome. Let me mark that up for you. So plus, let's change the color. You can't see that one. Oh, we don't want blue. Oh, and this Klaus thing. What else do you notice? Oh, you notice this also goes up by two. Anybody else have any other ideas? So I want you to focus on a few more rows for you to continue the counting by fours. Let's go to the next slide. Problem of the day. Let's read the story. Miss Vasquez baked a cake for her sister's birthday. Her cake had blank sides and black co blank corners. What shape is her cake? Draw what the cake looks like. What do you notice? So what do you notice? What is the story about? Yes, the story is about Miss Vasquez baking a cake for her sister's birthday. 
and we have to think of a shape for her sister's cake, right? So what kind of shapes are cakes usually made out of? Think about it. Let's go to the next slide. Set of numbers. Let's reread the story. Miss Vasquez baked a cake for her sister's birthday. Her cake had zero sides and zero corners. What shape is her cake? We can choose zero, zero, four, four, six, six. Let's think. What shape shall we use? What do you think the cake is going to be? Let's solve together. Miss Vasquez baked a cake for her sister's birthday. Her cake had zero sides and zero corners. What shape is her cake? This is a group of numbers we're using. So let's think. What do you think the cake is going to look like if it has zero sides and zero corners? Oh, you think it's a circle cake? How come? A circle cake is round. So is it, does it have any sides? No. Does it have any corners? No. So Miss Vasquez baked a circle cake, a round cake. Sorry, my drawing isn't so pretty. But you're right, if it has zero corners and zero sides, it's a circle. Awesome. Now it's going to be your turn. You're going to choose your own set of numbers. You're not going to choose zero, zero because we already did zero, zero. So you've got to choose something else. You can do four, four, six, six. And I want you to think about what shape the cake is going to be. Let's reread the story one more time. Choose one set of numbers or choose your own to solve the problem. Miss Vasquez baked a cake for her sister's birthday. Her cake had blank sides and blank corners. What shape is her cake? Draw what the cake looks like. It's your turn to try. Now it's your turn to try. Think about a problem using shapes. Write your own problem and solve it. Take a photo of your work or do a video. Have fun and enjoy the rest of your afternoon. I cannot wait to see your work. So I want you to think of some shapes and think of a problem of the day that you can write about a shape. Maybe you want to tell your friend that you want them to draw this shape and you have to give them the directions of how to make the shape. How many sides does it have? How many corners does it have? Are you ready to try? Awesome. Can't wait to see your stories. Have a great afternoon.